Yo, what is going on, my husband knows and my foos? My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another review for you guys. Today, we're going to review Black Clover, episode number 40. This episode, there's a lot to talk about. First of all, the new opening is flames. And it's not like, I still consider the last opening that we heard recently, Black Rover, being one of my favorite Black Clover openings and being one of my favorite songs of this year, actually. I still enjoyed it, and I did notice something a little bit different. I don't know if it's just me, but... The animation keeps looking better and better. So just based off of the opening, I got really excited and it really pinpoints what's going to happen in this chapter. And it's a heavy emphasis on the Black Bulls. And for me personally, this arc that we're going into, the Underwater Temple, is my favorite arc of Black Clover. I mean, there's a lot of good arcs, but this is one of my favorites just because of the mere fact that we're getting a lot of time to the Black Bulls. Most of the time, we only see Asta with another person. We see Asta with Noel, Asta with Gauche, Asta with Luck. But now, we're seeing Asta with everyone else. And the fact that most of the Black Bulls, and, and except Gordon, because Gordon got left behind. Asta with all of the Black Bulls are together. And I'm very excited to watch this. Based off of everything that we saw in this episode, I did see, like, the animation got a lot better there's a lot more to look at and it looks more vibrant of course because they're at the beach and a lot of them are at the beach for the first time this is great because we finally get some character development on black bulls as a whole rather than them individually with asta this is everyone though we're starting to see like right now is that it's a lot of noel at the moment because which is nice because yami is telling her look noel you have to master your water magic within a week because he believes in her. He believes that she can do this. And he's putting all of his faith into her. Just so they can get to the underwater temple. Because apparently they need to go down there. And it's underwater. And that when the moon is full. They should be able to go down there themselves. And also we get introduced to that character that we saw in the last episode that was singing. And we see her a little bit at the end of course. We're going to be left in a cliffhanger. But yeah we finally get to see her. Also I don't remember it that much. I believe it wasn't in the manga. You guys can refresh my memory. If you guys have been reading it alongside with the anime. But there was a scene at the very beginning. When the Golden Dawn Klaus. Mimosa and you know were flying around. They heard screaming and then they ran into Noelle and Vanessa. And Charmy I guess. Charmy didn't really get to make her appearance. She came too late. But they were shopping for swimsuits and i don't remember that i actually don't remember that in the manga it might have been there let me know guys uh i think that was just added on to there and that's one of those things where i say the anime does a lot better in terms of world building than the manga did and it's rare that to say that because usually i think the manga of black clover is better than the anime but then i think the anime does justice and adds more of importance to certain things to kind of like fill in the story to where we need it to be so yeah like i didn't really remember that but uh i, I like that part a lot too and this episode is mostly noel trying to get asta to notice her swimsuit her being like a tsundere yet she really wants asta's attention but asta's too busy being a muscle head and being attacked by everyone else really good stuff it was nice to see gray we never see gray use powers because we always see gray is only transforming into another person we always see him as he is blowing out like smoke out of his mouth but he was the one that transformed into gordon to be able to fly so Gray's ability, of course, is to transform, and Gray had a lot of shine in this episode, surprisingly. He was conversating with everyone else, but we didn't see the real form of Gray, and hopefully we'll be able to see the real form of Gray soon. And on one last note, the ending is amazing too. Schoolgirl life, the school life with Noelle, Mimosa, Vanessa, that mystery girl that we're going to find out who it is later. It looks amazing. I mean, I think Black Clover is doing a great job for what it is and I, i'm really excited about this arc I'm, I'm hoping that they give this arc like mad justice because this this is my favorite arc. <laughs> but anyways guys that is my review for black clover if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot thank you guys so much for the support and yo everyone at anime expo that stopped me to say hello shout out to you guys i know i haven't uploaded a video about anime expo yet it will come in tomorrow but um, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much for the support. And I will see you in the next one. I hope I, I, hope I see you guys.